नमस्कार इंडिया मेटोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट वेलकम यू इन वीकली वेदर डिस्कशन इन द वीकली वेदर डिस्कशन वी वुड लुक लुक इन टू वॉट वॉज द वेदर ड्यूरिंग पास्ट वन वीक एंड वॉट द वेदर इज गोइंग टू बी ड्यूरिंग नेक्स्ट टू वीक्स सो इफ यू टॉक अबाउट ड्यूरिंग नेक्स्ट टू वीक्स सो द रेनफॉल एक्टिविटी इज लाइकली टू बी अबो नॉर्मल ओवर द एंटायर कंट्री ड्यूरिंग नेक्स्ट टू वीक्स and if we start looking into the weather during past one week so uh, uh, the remnant of the uh, low pressure area uh, remnant of the low pressure area as a cyclonic circulation over south odisha moved west north westwards and uh, it caused heavy to very heavy rainfall over mp over uh, maharashtra and and then it uh, recovered uh, north eastward and then it caused extremely heavy rainfall over up also and it also gave uh, uh, moderate to heavy rainfall activity over uh, haryana haryana uh, west up and and uh, east rajasthan so uh, due to this uh, uh, if we look into uh, here we can see that extremely heavy rainfall activity uh, shown by the red dots is shown over east up uh, heavy to very heavy rainfall activity over west up extremely heavy rainfall over konkan and heavy to very heavy rainfall over mp and uh, uh, light to moderate rainfall can be seen over haryana delhi east rajasthan and uh, uh, foothill areas of himachal pradesh and uttarakhand during the uh, gone week so uh, due to this uh, as we can see here that uh, the rainfall uh, weekly rainfall which was uh, in in uh, uh, in the uh, in the negative side of the normal rainfall so uh, during the entire month of august so this rainfall activity uh, in the uh, week ending 13th of september became uh, 16% plus from the normal rainfall as we can see here that many subdivisions we can see here are in either excess or large excess category in the india map although the entire country uh, rainfall scenario remains uh, 10% uh, uh, 10% short of the normal rainfall so it is 10% deficient from the normal uh, rainfall activity now we come into the uh, weather situation during next two weeks so if you look into uh, today's weather conditions uh, which has already been uh, described in the week uh, daily weather video so if you look into here then uh, uh, yesterday's low pressure area over northwest and adjoining west central bay of bengal now lies as a well marked low pressure area over north odisha and neverhood and the monsoon trough is to the south of its normal position running from jaisalmer Uh, to udaipur and then coming into uh, from udaipur it is going to indore then chindwara then raipur and then coming into the uh, well marked low pressure area over uh, over central parts of odisha and this uh, monsoon trough is quite active and is extending up to lower tropospheric levels so under the influence of uh, this uh, low pressure area and its uh, subsequent movement uh, west north west was movement across central india uh, it uh, the central india west india and uh, and the adjoining parts of uh, peninsular india to the central india are going to receive a very good rainfall activity and also north west india punjab haryana and west up may receive uh, uh, isolated to scattered rainfall from tomorrow onwards uh, light although it will be only light rainfall uh, during subsequent 3 days so the rainfall activity due to this as we can see here that above normal above, above normal rainfall activity is likely over central india and uh, normal uh, above uh, above normal appreciably above normal activity rainfall activity is likely over west india especially over northern parts of maharashtra and and west uh, western madhya pradesh so here if you see uh, uh, next 5 days weather warning uh, uh, graphics so extremely heavy rainfall is likely today over uh, odisha which is uh, continued from uh, last 3 days and then very heavy to very heavy rainfall over chatisgarh and uh, east mp and uh, telangana and this uh, uh, rainfall belt would shift slightly uh, westwards towards uh, uh, towards uh, west mp and east rajasthan and northern maharashtra and uh, on Uh, as we can see here that on 16th of uh, september we can see heavy to very heavy rainfall is likely even up to uh, gujarat and east rajasthan also and thereafter uh, it would continue and on uh, 
on 18th of september we can see the uh, heavy to very heavy rainfall activity would continue over uh, uh, gujarat and northern parts of maharashtra because this low pressure area or its remnant is uh, likely to become uh, kind of stationary when it reaches over uh, west mp and is likely to hover over the region for uh, three four days thereafter it is likely to uh, move into uh, it is likely to uh, emerge into northeast adjoining east central arabian sea and thereafter it is likely to further intensify and become a marginal depression and uh, and uh, although the probability of uh, the uh, uh, intensification of this uh, remnant of this low pressure area after its emergence into northeast arabian sea into a depression is only low so so we have shown just uh, uh, up to 30 33% of uh, probability of uh, intensification of this uh, uh, low pressure area after its emergence into the northeast arabian sea uh, into a depression and then again in the, in, in the second week also there is a, a likelihood of formation of a cyclonic circulation over east central bay of bengal and that would also move west north uh, uh, westwards and cause uh, uh, heavy to very heavy rainfall activity over central india and uh, and west india as we can see here in the second uh, second week map that uh, ab above normal rainfall activity is likely over uh, uh, entire central india and also south peninsular india tamil nadu kerala south interior karnataka and rail sima may receive heavy to very heavy rainfall activity during the week two and uh, uh, so here we can see that during week two there is no area being shown uh, of of uh, below normal rainfall activity over the entire country so week two is going to get uh, uh, quite good rainfall activity and uh, <coughs> Although in the week one uh, uh, below normal rainfall activity may be received over uh, northern parts of peninsular India that is uh, uh, coastal Andhra Pradesh, Rail Sima and adjoining parts of uh, Karnataka and also over East India and Northeast India. So that's all for uh, this week and next week we will again meet with the weekly weather discussion for uh, upcoming two weeks. Till then, thank you and goodbye.